Greetings viewers, it's TVB. Oh, finally I'm getting back to this series. I'm sorry this series has a chopping block so much with my busy schedule and everything like that. But I'm here with you guys with another Animal Fact video. The first one in a long, long time. Like, 65 million years long time. Oh, okay. Anyway, we're gonna talk about the most, one, one of the craziest long, like, long dead creatures the world's ever seen. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Perhaps the most famous, beloved, an instant recognizable dinosaur, the T-Rex lived in the West and Western North America during the late Cretaceous period. Fossils have been found all over the United States and in Canada, and it's thought to have lived in forested valleys or no surprise here, T-Rex was a monster. It might not be the largest carnivorous dinosaur, as shown by other meat eaters like Spinosaurus and Giganotosaurus. It weighed but it did weigh six to twelve tons, measured at forty feet or twelve meters long, and it was fifteen to twenty feet or five to six meters tall. You'd probably be a bite-sized snack for good old Rexy. T-Rex's jaws are something straight up a legend. It's thought that they could eat 500 pounds or 230 kilograms of meat in just one bite. For years, paleontologists have debated over whether T-Rex was just a hunter or a scavenger, like a jackal or vulture. But like most carnivores, it was probably both. Yes, T-Rex had no problem in stealing meat from other animals, but there have been T-Rex teeth embedded in the bones of Triceratops and Hadrosaurs. It's also debated that T-Rex hunted in groups, like modern day lions and wolves. Geez, if I was a dinosaur being confronted with 3 or 5 T-Rexes, I'd probably compromise myself. One of the reasons why T-Rex is such a hit in popular culture is its hilariously puny arms compared to its enormous head. But their arms weren't worthless. Their arms could lift up to, four, could lift up to 400 pounds or 180 kilograms, and are probably useful during courtship, as males are actually smaller than females. Yeah, I'll let you fantasize on this. You don't need to go to the movies as often as I do to be familiar with the beyond iconic T-Rex war from Jurassic Park. This beautiful work of cinematic audio was created by mixing a baby elephant, a crocodile, and a tiger's roar. The many scientists are under the impression that a T Rex's roar is just a myth from a Jurassic Park. Roaring is only a feature that you only really see in large mammalian carnivores like big cats and bears. And since dinosaurs were a lot more closely related to birds and crocodiles and other reptiles, it's more likely that a lot of dinosaurs made hissing and squawking noises instead. <laughs> My dad and I always joke when I was a kid on how T-Rex probably just clucked like a chicken. Well, happy late Father's Day, Dad. You might not be wrong. <laughs> or it's also suggested that T-Rex, through closed mouth vocalization that's common among T-Rex's modern relatives, made a super low pitch, low frequency growl like this. Huge thanks to Dangerville for that sound effect, I take no credit. Also, T-Rex's vision was not solely based off movement either. That's another myth spread by Jurassic Park. Speaking of chickens and the T-Rex's avian cousins, feathers! It's likely that T-Rex had a decent amount of feathers on its body, just like raptors and other carnivores of that time period. Whether its entire body was covered in feathers or just parts of it, or, or with the rest of just being reptilian scales is anyone's guess. If anything, it's not unlikely that all dinosaurs had at least a tiny bit of feathers on them, like how all mammals have at least a little bit of hair on them. But what's truly fact is that the closest modern relative to the Tyrannosaurus is a domestic chicken. Birds are descended from theropods, as, as they evolved in the late Jurassic period and evolved more and more as the era went on, ultimately becoming small enough and easy enough to be self-reliant to survive the Cretaceous extinction events. They can grow into the loads of wonderful shapes and sizes that we see them in today. So yeah, modern birds are modern dinosaurs, and it's really hard to see how. Like, have you seen chicken feet? Like, look, look at, look at those feet. They're so scaly and dinosaur. Like, just, just, but, but, that, that. They... What are those? Yeah, our school gets chickens occasionally, and they're sometimes, and sometimes you, you just need a couple chicken. And finally, the T-Rex is one of the last dinosaurs to see its era come to an end. 65 million years ago marked the end of the Mesozoic era killing all dinosaurs, pterosaurs, huge prehistoric sea monsters, and anything with four legs that was bigger than, than 55 pounds or 25 kilograms. The most widely accepted theory on the cause of this tragic massacre is a huge asteroid smashing into the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, creating huge tsunamis and earthquakes and other disasters, blocking the sun, and thus starving out all the dinosaurs, including the mother epic T-Rex. When one life ends, another begins. The Mesozoic was followed up by the Cenozoic era, which we still live in today. 
one of the survivors of the Mesozoic of the dinosaur extinction were the mammals, which got as big as a modern day cat while the dinosaurs were more around. Over the past 64 million years, the mammals changed drastically with the changing world, giving rise to all the rodents, bats, marsupials, hooved creatures, whales, elephants, sloths, dogs, cats, bears, hyenas, weasels, seals, and more, and primates, and yes, that includes us humans. None of that would have happened if the dinosaurs ever died out. Malcolm was right, life found a way. Gosh, I can't wait to see Jurassic World Park. So there you guys have it. Seven facts about the T-Rex. I'm like, I'm really sorry, guys. I don't want this series to be like, uh, get like as frequent, up, as infrequently of uploads as as it, it has been lately. I just been, it's just these videos require so much planning and so much more editing than other videos do, and like I just had such a busy schedule. It, it's just hard to squeeze it all in. But I had some free time today, and Fallen Kingdom is right on course. So like, let's do our first extinct man. Like, do you guys want me to do more? I don't usually do extinct animals for this series, but do you guys want me to do more extinct animals? Please, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, I do plan to bring this series back, especially with one of my classes over. Like, I'll have a lot more time to myself. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. This series is coming back. I promise you guys that. And uh, yeah, let me know what animal you guys want me to do next. And the